How's it going guys? This is Giuseppe LaPaglia with Low Light Innovations. Today we're going over the installation tutorial for the panning arms to the MH1. Now, after this video, if you still don't feel comfortable doing this installation, don't hesitate to contact us or the dealer you purchased it from. Thank you. All right guys, we're back at the bench. Now, in front of me we have the device and everything we need to do this installation. So we have some lubricant, a T10 driver, and in the package it's gonna come with your panning arms and some O-rings. Now these little caps right here will be important, so don't lose them. So we're gonna to get to the installation. So let's move some stuff out of the way. And we're gonna be starting off removing the four screws in the rear bridge. Open this up a little bit. Now once all those screws are removed, you can separate the body and you're gonna be left with just the rear bridge and pod and arms. Now that once this is separated, one thing we're gonna do is we're going to prep the panning arm. So we're going to unscrew the four screws off this plate because we're gonna need the plate and the screws for the installation. One thing to note is these screws are a little longer than your typical pod screws on the MH1. All right. That is all done. Put those off to the side. Get your panning arms prepped. So, throw that over here. We're going to unscrew the four screws off the pods. Yeah. Now be very careful while doing this because you do have a pigtail and you do not want that to rip. If you need tweezers, use tweezers, but it typically just comes right off. Put that on, one off to the side. Now make sure you don't forget to put your gasket in place. And then you kind of just reverse the process. Plug in your EGAC and then sandwich everything together. Now we're going to just do the same thing off camera with the other uh, arm, you know, taking the um, pod off and uh, we'll reassemble everything uh, and come back. All right, so now we come back in a frame. Everything's installed. So we are going to now open up the packet with the O-rings. And we're going to take some lubricant and just small, put a small bead in the channel. Now I always recommend just throwing a couple little drops on the outer surface. But once that's all done, you just sandwich everything together. And then screw everything together. 
One of the things people are gonna ask is, how much do you torque the pods and the uh, rear bridge? We typically run everything at a 0.08 Newton meters. And once that's done, now you got panning. And just for a little test, you can see, uh, see it on, yep. So those are good. Now we're gonna kinda go back to the original fixed articulating bridge and we're going to actually reinstall the plates at the bottom. Now if you look, you get a larger side here and a shorter side here, they match up. So just throw those together and then use the screws Thread that right in. And at least now these are protected if you ever want to reinstall. I also want to add one fact is you are going to be breaking purge when you do this installation. So if you want the device to be repurged, again, contact us or contact the dealer you purchased it from and they can assist you with that.